Before we begin, just wanted to say thanks for the support. We're a husband and wife team who started this channel to highlight scientific discoveries. If you like science but don't have time to read academic journals, subscribe. We're glad you're here. Sea ice in the Arctic Ocean is melting faster than it refreezes. The region is the warmest it has been in 10,000 years, according to analysis from the University of Toronto. Arctic sea ice extent is at an all-time low for this time of year so far in 2019, as areas of the North Pole have seen temperature anomalies 40 degrees Fahrenheit above normal. Could ice disappear entirely there? Scientific consensus says yes, though it's really difficult to put a date on it. Most models predict an ice-free Arctic to first occur during September when ice extent bottoms out between 2020 and 2050. Here's the key point. Ice extent is seasonal, so the first year this happens, it's expected to only last a few weeks in the summer, but less ice will subsequently refreeze the following winter. The length of time we have an ice-free Arctic is expected to slowly increase over time, though this is very difficult to predict. How fast this occurs is up for debate. A new study from NASA and the Scripps Institution of Oceanography suggests it could become ice-free for nine months of the year within the next few decades. They also say computer models are underplaying this risk. We analyzed 40 climate models from modeling centers around the world. Not a single one of the models simulated as much Arctic sea ice retreat per degree of global warming as has been observed during recent decades. What would an ice-free Arctic for the sunlit part of the year mean for the Earth's climate? A lot, according to the scientists. Right now, white Arctic sea ice reflects incoming solar radiation from the sun, so losing it entirely would mean all of that energy is absorbed by the darker ocean water. Their research says a complete loss of Arctic sea ice for the sunlit part of the year would be the energy equivalent of adding 1 trillion tons of carbon dioxide to the atmosphere. That's 41% of all CO2 we've produced since the industrial age began in 1760. This additional energy is equivalent to 25 years of global CO2 emissions and would likely push the global temperature increase above pre-industrial levels beyond the 2 degrees Celsius limit established by the UN. The United Nations set that limit because anything beyond it is expected to cause the extinction of all coral reefs, destruction of around one-sixth of the world's ecosystems, and significantly greater risk of heat waves and drought. It would also double the risk of extinction for many species of insects, plants, and animals. An ice-free Arctic hasn't happened yet, though so it may still be possible to avoid the scenario where ice is gone nine months a year. The authors do not offer any ideas on how to do this. Our research shows the best chance to avoid an ice-free Arctic may be collective political action across all major first world economies. This would require countries to agree on serious, hard limits to fossil fuel usage adhering to targets designed by climate scientists. 